Hello boys and girls and welcome to today's tutorial on how to make a Cleotic cow and a Cleotic sheep. I'm Louise, I'm the founder of Cleotic. Cleotic is the first Irish brand of modelling clay. Cleotic is a non-messy air drying clay, so basically whatever you make, provided you're happy with it, you get to keep it. If not, you can just put it back in the container and reuse it again and again. So I'm just going to show you the two little characters we're going to make in this tutorial. So there's a little sheep and there's our little cow. So they're very cute, aren't they? Turn around like that. Today's tutorial is sponsored by Meath County Council and Meath Library Services. So I'm just going to bring down the screen and let's get clean. Now, boys and girls, in the kit that was sent out to you, you would have got brown, you would have got white foam, peach and black and a little skewer. So there's what you would have got in your kit. And again, these are the two little characters we're going to make. I'm going to start first make this little cow. So I'm going to put the sheep aside for this, the time being. So that's the little first card we're going to make. But in order to make anything from Cleotic, you have to know three shapes. So the first shape is a ball. Before we start making the ball, we're going to just warm up our clay. So we're going to go over and back, we're going to stretch and we're going to fold. And this is very therapeutic in itself. So you stretch over and back, over and back. OK, see the way it folds so easily in and itself. So it's very relaxing. Now, as I said, the first shape is going to be a ball. So I'm going to roll mine in the palm of my hands. So in the palm of my hands, look at or boys and girls, if you feel more comfortable, you can do it on the sur surface on the table, on a hard surface, whatever way you feel comfortable. That's the main thing. OK, and then I'm going to hold it up to you, boys and girls, so you can see mine is relatively wrinkle free. So you want to have a good wrinkle free ball just so that your model is quite professional up and so look at okay now the second shape we need to know it's called a droplet because it looks like a teardrop or a raindrop so you have the ball and you use this side of your hands here and you put pressure on one side only so over and back over and back over and back like this okay so that's what you call a droplet because you have a fat bottom and a skinnier top. So you're just putting pressure on one side of the ball. I just recap there over and back like that. So you're putting pressure on one side. So this shows you have a skinnier top and a fatter bottom. So that looks like a droplet. It doesn't look like a teardrop. And that's why it's called a droplet. So then the third shape, boys and girls, is a sausage. So you just roll back into a ball quickly and just roll it into a sausage. So that's the most simplest of shape isn't it sausage like that okay so now we're going to officially start making our little cow or a ball he's more like a bull with the little horns isn't he okay so get the brown in your hands boys and girls and just stretch it again just quickly and then into a ball and then a sausage okay because we're going to divide our brown into three amounts into three equal amounts for the legs the body and the head so if you can see my sausages there, we're going to put it into three equal amounts. So one, two, three. I'm going to go a little bit extra there. So one, two, three. Just want to try and get them as even as you can. So one, two, three. And we're going to pull that apart. One, two, and three. Okay? So boys and girls, we're going to start off with the legs first, okay? So you take any of the amounts I'm going to go with this amount for the legs I'm going to put those two aside like that and if you can keep it in your tubs or in the bag the clay just so that it doesn't dry out okay because it's an air drying clay remember so now I've taken this amount away and obviously we have one two three four legs so basically we're going to roll into a ball and then a droplet and divide it into four equal amounts. Okay, so for four legs, so there's two. And you're going to divide that into two again. One, two. So then there's four equal legs. 
Okay, now if you can look, I don't know if you can see from there, but basically our legs are droplets. They're not balls, they're not sausages, they're going to be droplets. So you want to get four equal droplets for the legs. So I'm going to start first start with one, so into a ball. But these are small droplets. So you want to use a little small ball like this or make a small little ball like this and use your finger here and put pressure on one side only. So it's like that. Then you put it up like that. So that's one. Okay. The next one into a ball. Using this little finger here, you put pressure on one side only. So that's two. They're relatively equal. I can see that they're quite equal there. This is my third one into a ball. Using that finger and put pressure on one side only. Okay. So you have their third leg. And then finally, the fourth one. So into a ball, using this finger here, little droplet like that. So pressure on one, um, put pressure on one side only. Okay, so if you can see there, there's the four legs done. Okay, so now I'm gonna ask you, just to give it a little bit of a design edge, I'm gonna ask you to take out your peach, okay? So we need the peach, for the nose, the horns, the little tail, and the hoof. So there are kind of four sections we need. So I'm gonna ask you to get the peach, again, stretch and fold, stretch and fold, just to warm it up a little bit, and then roll into a ball, and then into a long sausage, and you're going to divide it into four equal amounts. So there's my sausage there. Okay, I'm gonna get my black tray, just to highlight the peach because it's difficult to see it on the white. So divide it into two. And then into two there. Okay. So there's four amounts that we're going to use for all those little bits I previously stated. So the section we're worried about now is the little hoof. So I'm going to ask you just to take one of those little peach bits away and put the other three, if you can, under in your bag or in the tub, whichever you got. And you're going to divide this wee bit here of peach into four. So for four equal hooves. So look, up, there's a long sausage there. And you're going to divide it into four. There's into two. There. And there. So that's four equal amounts and we're gonna wrap it around the base of our legs. Look, I'm just gonna just make it a little bit more skinnier by just rubbing it, rolling it like this. And then we put it on the base. Just like that there, okay? And then we're gonna use our tool and we're going to indent. So look at, I just got the skewer and I indent it like that. That's one. So the next one, do that, obviously for the four legs. So I'm just extending my sausage ever so slightly, just so that it's a little bit skinnier and then wrapping around, look at the base, getting my skewer and putting it like that. So that's our second leg done. Now, so there's my sausage, as I said, I'm gonna extend a little bit more and I'm gonna wrap it around the base of our legs and then getting our skewer indent in the center. Okay, that's three. And then I'm just gonna extend my sausage ever so slightly, got my leg, put it around the base, and then indent. So there's four little hooves and four legs. So we're doing well, aren't we? Now, the next thing we're going to do, boys and girls, is the body. So the body is a very simple shape there. It's just a simple ball. So that'll take us no time at all. So remember, we have two amounts of brown, take any one of them and roll them into a lovely round ball for the body of the little ball. Okay, look like that. So into a ball, I'm just gonna get my little legs away. Into a ball, I'm doing it again in the palm of my hands. You can do it in the palm of your hands or you can do it on the table, whatever way you feel happy with. So there's my ball for the body, okay? Now I'm gonna ask you to join up the legs. Just keep them as close as you can. See the way I'm doing it? 
obviously one to the back, one to the front, one to the back, one to the front, one to the back. So all together. And then you're going to get your ball for the body and put it balanced on the legs like that. And I'm going to give you a little swivel around there so you can see what I've done. Body is on the legs. Okay. With that. So that was very simple, wasn't it? But we're going to just concentrate here on the little tail. So I'm going to put a hole. So I'm using my skewer and I'm putting a hole just where the tail should go. So indicate a little hole there where the tail should go. And I'm going to get a little bit off our, any one of those, because when you want a small little tail, so I'm going to ask you just to get a tiny little amount of the peach and roll it into a tiny little extended droplet. So I'll just put him away for one minute so I can show you. So look at all, that's all I took for the tail. So into a ball and then put pressure on one side like that. Like that, okay? And you're just going to put the skinny bit into the hole and the fatter bit coming down like that. So something like that. It's very simple, isn't it? So we're doing very good, boys and girls. Now, the next thing, so we have another bit of the brown, the third and final bit of the brown. So we need this for obviously the head and the ears, okay? So I'm gonna ask you now to take this away and much. So I've got, look at, that's my head. So take around that amount, that might be a bit much, but I'm gonna do my little ears a little bit bigger in this character. So something around that size, nothing bigger. You can, go a lot, you can go less, but no bigger, if you know what I mean. So I'm going to put the ears aside. So remember, it's an air drying clay. Put it back in the bag or in the tub, whichever you receive your kit in. And again, we're going to start off with a ball, okay? So the head of our little character is actually, I'm going to do it into a kind of a droplet, okay? So into a ball first. I'm doing mine in the palm of my hand. I'll just move that so you can see. In the palm of my hands, yeah. And then... Put it there and then I'm going to decide with a halfway mark. My halfway mark is approximately there. I'm going to use this part of my hand again and put pressure on one side. Just put pressure, remember, like that. Okay, so you can see again, fat bottom, skinny top. The head is going to actually go, or the ears are going to go from this side here, from the skinnier part, okay? So I'm going to delve back in and I'm going to ask you to take a little bit away because I'm going to actually give it hair. So whatever amount of brown you tuck, get it, take a little bit away for some hair, tufts of hair. So just around that amount. It doesn't have to be a small amount. Just a little detail. I'm just thinking it would be lovely on our bull head. Okay, so now we're going to do the ears. So keep the little hair aside. The ears, remember, are, you can see there, they're actually droplets, boys and girls. So we're going to roll into a larger ball and then divide it into two. So you... Always start off in a larger amount and divide it into two when you've got ears or eyes or legs. It just makes the proportions um, more equal. So there you go. So we're going to start off with a ball and then a droplet. So it's a droplet for the ears. So simple little small droplet into a ball. Use this part here and put pressure on one side only. Okay, so there are two ears and my ears are big enough. These may not have gone as big as that. Whatever way and size is fine, as long as you're happy with them. Now you put the ear like that. So I'm putting this, sorry, the skewer on the ear like that. And then I'm going to attach it to the side of my head. The same for the other one. So getting the skewer, I'll show you there. And we're going to just add that like that. Okay, just to put a little slice in it so that it's more realistic. Like that and that okay now we're going to ask you now to just take out remember we divided our peach into four i want to ask you to take one of those little sections and we're going to do this little nozzle bit here okay so the nozzle wee bit is just uh I'm going to ask you, it's, it's actually, um, if you look at it, it's a little oblong shape, flattened. But can I ask you just to take a tiny little bit away? So look, that's going to be the main bit of the nozzle and that's going to be the small bit for the little nostrils, okay? So that's going to be for the main bit there. I'm going to use this here. Now, I'm going to do the, the nozzle part first, so into a ball. And then a slight sausage, just a slight sausage, and then flatten it, okay? You want it nice and flat like that. 
Yeah, everybody see that? And then you're going to attach it to the fat part of our droplet head. That, look at Looking like a little cow or a bull now, isn't it? All around, all down, down, down. Just flatten it. Okay. That looks good, doesn't it? Now I'm going to ask you to take another, so you have the small little bit for the two nostrils. I'm going to ask you to take a tiny bit away. This is going to be for the ring in his nose. So you're going to take that bit away. I'm going to add black in a minute to that. So keep that aside, keep that aside. Now, the two little nostrils, remember, always start off with a larger ball and divide it into two to make two equal amounts of anything. So again, if you have two eyes, two ears, always start with a larger amount and then divide it into two. So there's one, the ball, and two. So these are the two nostrils here we're doing, okay? Two nostrils so into a ball. And then I'm going to get my skewer and I'm going to put a hole there. So look at, I just put the, lifted up my skewer like that. And I'm going to put you just like that there. And then put a little bit of force into it, boys and girls, so they get a bigger hole. Okay? Same for the other one. So we have a ball of equal size. Putting it on the skewer. Putting it there. And putting a little bit of pressure and rolly, rolly, roundy, roundy, roundy. Like that. Okay, and then I'm going to ask you to take, remember the black that we came with the kit as well. So a tiny bit of black. So look at that's all you need and the peach and you mix like this. So Cleotic is great in the sense that you can mix your colors. So you stretch and fold, stretch and fold, stretch and fold. So you're mixing, you're blending, you're making it into a different color. It's only a lighter black. If you added more peach there, you'd actually get it rare. But I'm happy enough. It's just to show you that you can mix colors. So black and peach will give it an element of dark gray. OK, so I'm going to ask you. So it's a little ring there we're doing now, the little ball ring we're doing. OK, so I'm going to ask you to just roll into a simple sausage. So mine's very small, as you can see, into a sausage like that. Make sure it's going to go from one nostril to the other, which I'm hoping that it will. I'm just reminding the pan of my hand, just making a little extra sauce, longer sausage there. And then I'm going to go like this and go, go like that. Okay, so that's kind of what you're after. It looks good, doesn't it? It does actually look very good. Now, the only thing that we're missing from our little um, head are our eyes and our horns. So we're doing very good. So we're going to go into our pack again and get some black. So I'm going to take a bit of black here. So just a tiny bit, boys and girls, look at a tiny bit. Into a black ball and divide it into two. And that will give you Two equal amounts. Remember, start with a larger bit and divide it into two. So I'm taking my little eye like that because it's very difficult actually to lift the black like that and position it there, around there. But you can decide again. You are the designers. You can decide where you want your little eyes. Okay, so I'm going to hold it up to you now. That looks good, doesn't it? It looks very, very good. So the next thing we're going to do is take our peach away. So we've, we've two sections of peach left. So we're going to use one of them for our horns here. Um, so I'm going to put that other bit back. Now I'm going to ask you just to take for the base of the horns there. See that there? It's two little balls and then flattened. Okay, it's so going to ask you take around that amount away. So nothing too big, around that amount. And you're going to divide that into two. So these are for the base of the horns. Now you don't have to do the base of the horns if you don't want to. I'm just here to give you a few little tips and tricks and to, whoops, and to make your little character a little bit more professional. So divide that into two and then into a ball, flatten it into a ball, flatten it slightly. And then remember our skewer, we're going to get our skewer and put it in the middle. And then I'm going to put it here. And the other one 
the other side. This is just, remember the base of where the little horns will go, like that. Okay? Now, and then we're going to get the remaining part of this peach and divide, roll it into a ball. And remember, divide it into two to get it two equal amounts for two equal horns. Mine might be a bit big, but I'm going to go with it. It'll just be nice and animated if it have big horns. So into a ball. So I've got two balls of equal size, I hope. I do. Into a droplet. So a small, extended. But this one is pointy because horns are usually pointy at the end. So look at boys and girls, something like that. A pointy horn. The pointy horn is going to sit on the base of the circle, the flattened circle, flattened ball. Okay. Now the other one into a ball. Remember, use your finger here. Yes, you one here. And put pressure on one side and stick it on. So it's two sharpened droplets. Look at that's looking very good. Now I have remember the piece of brown that I set aside for the hair. So and I have an extra bit of peach here as well. So I'm going to ask you boys and girls just to mix the two. I'm going to add equal amounts of peach and equal amounts of brown and see what happens. So over and back like that, over and back like that. Look, this is uh, not important. If you don't have any of the brown or any of the peach left, it's fine. It's finished as it is the head. You don't need to worry, but it just for anybody that has the extra colors and to see how you can mix colors very nice with chaotic. So I've got those there. And then we're going to do three little droplets so I have this amount here. So whatever amount you have, divide it into three. It doesn't have to be exact. I'm just going to go one, two, three. And you're going to make three little droplets for three strands of hair. So into a ball, into the droplets. So again, it's kind of like the horns. It's sharp and droplets. And you're going to put it in between the horns like that. It's one, into a ball, into a sharp and droplet, and like that into a ball, into a sharpened droplet, and like that. So I've just, I had, as I said, that amount left, so I just mix some of it together. Just gives a little bit more life and character, doesn't it? Okay. So we have our legs done, we have our bodies done, and now we have our head done. So I'm going to ask you to stick it on. So if you have you put up a little bit of pressure on, from, on the head and the body. So hold the two together, firm but fair. Don't be going too, too mad because you don't want it to, um, to squish. You're just gentle, firm but fair, as I say, like that. Okay, isn't he gorgeous? I'm going to put him on my tray and do a little um, lap of honor. I'm going to turn that around, turn it around, turn it around like that. Now he is looking particularly cute. I hope yours turns out something similar, okay? He's looking very good. Now I'm going to set him aside and then I'm going to go on to our second character, which is our lovely sheep. There's a little sheep there just to give you a little close up. He's looking good, isn't he? OK, so I'm going to ask you to take out the white foam. So have a feel of this product here. It's lovely. It's a little bit different to the other previous clay it's just got the foam in it obviously so you stretch and fold again just to get a feel now i want you to take enough away for this little head piece so i'm going to take around this amount away something around that amount okay and we're going to then work on the body of the little sheep so if you have a good look at the body of the sheep it is an actual droplet okay so again, I'm going to take you out away, sheep, and we're going to start rolling it in the palm of my hand. So roll, 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 or on the table. Remember, I'm going to use this one on the table, I think, just to get a bit of a grip, okay? Now, and then when you're happy with the ball, so look at my ball there. You're going to decide where the halfway mark is. So over and back like this, put pressure on one side only. So you have a fat bottom and a skinny top. So that looks very good, doesn't it? So you have a fat bottom, sorry, and you have a skinnier top up there. Okay, so that's looking really, really good. Now, so we have the body done. So I'm going to ask you to divide the black. So first again, we're going to stretch and fold the black just to give you a little bit 
of just to feel again and to warm it up ever so slightly. So I'm going to ask you to get the black, roll it into a ball first, and then a sausage. And we're going to divide it into two amounts. So if you look here, I um, we have the head and we have the legs and the arms and a little tail. So we're going to divide it into two. So into two like this. Larger sausage and divide into two. So that's going to be the head part and that's going to be the leg and all the amount for the tail. Okay, so I'm just going to ask you now just to get um, the tail. To do the tail, you just take a tiny bit of clay away. So around that amount, look at. Okay, and you roll it into a ball. And then a droplet. So it's just to show you again, and the fatter part is going to go out. It's like the ball, but um, the little fatter part's going out as well at the back. So something like that, okay? That's the tail done. Now, so all this, so remember, put the head back into the bag or into the tub that you got. So we're going to now concentrate on the legs and arms. So again, we have four legs. No, we don't. We have two legs and two arms. That's four parts we're looking for. So we have the larger ball, but we roll into a sausage. We'll do the legs first. So divide it into two. Into two there. Okay. So that's going to be my legs. I'm going to get two legs from this and two arms from that. So we're going to do the legs first. So put this bit of black away and work on our legs. So look at, we have this amount. I'm going to divide that into two. Okay, so two amounts for the little legs here. So again, roll this into a ball and we're going to do a droplet, an extended droplet into a ball, two balls. Now, remember this finger here and we're going to roll out like that, nice and carefully like that, okay? So that's going to be one leg and you're going to do the same for the other into a ball and roll out using this finger here and extend a droplet an extend a droplet like that okay and you want to get them as equal as you can mine are quite equal actually I'm quite happy with that now to give you a little trick on how to make little turn up legs you're going to then get your skewer and go so this is where the where the foot is so you're going to put a slice like that, okay? And then flatten it up. Okay, so I'll do that again. So it's like that little flattened kind of section there. And then there's a little slice to divide where the foot and the leg meet, okay? There's one done. I'm going to do the other now again. So there's what the droplet. You're going to get these two fingers and put pressure just to get a bit flat just to give that a little bit of flatness. Yeah, put pressure there like that. And then use your skewer and then just make the divide of where your foot and your leg meet like that. Okay. Now, so you're gonna put them together and they're relatively equal, aren't they? So again, just to divide, the little sheep would have kind of little hooves as well. So we're going to just use this tool and slice down, slice down in the middle, one slice in the middle, just to give it more of a lifelike appearance. Okay, like that, and like that. Now, so we have two little legs done there. Now, the next thing we're going to do is put on the legs underneath the body. This is because, so you put one leg like that and you put one leg like that. There's a gap in the middle. So look at the gap in the middle, like that. And you're going to just keep it like that for one minute. So that looks really good, doesn't it? It looks excellent. So the next job we're going to do, boys and girls, is the arm here. So these two, obviously, arms are equal droplets. So I'm going to ask you to take the bit that we divided um, for the arms out. There's the full amount for the arms, and you're going to divide it into two, two arms. Okay? And again, start off with the ball. Start off with a ball. And then roll out your extended droplets for the arm. So extend the droplets like this. And extend the droplets for the other arm. So you want again two arms of equal size, like that, like that. 
Okay, I'm going to hold them up to you. Like that. And like that. Now, so we're going to put this to this side here. So the slender part of the droplet goes to the slender part of the body, like that. Okay, and then I'm going to ask you to use your little tool and to make an insert into the center again. You see, like that, and the same on the other side, like that. That just shows you how it can be done. Okay, so here's the, the arms done. Now, I'm just going to ask you now to take out the black that we had set aside for the head. So this is going to do the head, the ears and the little nostrils again. So you've got um, to take away enough for ears and nostrils. So that's the larger amount I have for my head. So you're going to take around that amount, maybe a little bit extra like that. So that's going to do the ears and the nostrils, okay? So we're going to start off with a bulb. If you can look here, it's actually a droplet. So remember, start off with a ball. I'm going to do my ball on the table. And then we're going to roll it into a droplet. So remember, use this part of your hand and put pressure on one side only, like this. Okay. So that looks good, doesn't it? So the fat part here is where the little nostrils are going to go. And then this part here is where the little hair and the ears will go, okay? So there's the bit we set aside for the nostrils and the ears. So I would divide that into two. So that's gonna be enough for the ears and that's gonna be plenty for the nostrils, maybe too much. So we might divide that into two again. You can judge the amount you want to use yourselves. I'm just here to give you some little guidelines. So I'm gonna use that amount for the two nostrils and that amount for the ears. So, We'll divide that into two. So this is the nostrils I'm doing now. So look at these little nostrils here. Into two, like that. So, and then two balls. So one, two, like that. You're going to use your pointy bit of the skewer and lift it up like that and position it like that. Okay, and same for the other one, into a ball into your skewer and then position it like so. So you have two little nostrils at each part there. Okay. Now, the next thing then we're going to do is our two ears. So into a ball and then divide it into two, the two ears. And each of the ears are actual again, little droplets. So one ball and then a droplet. And same for the other one, into a ball and a little droplet. So two droplets for the ears. And you're going to use your tool and you're going to put a little skewer in the centre there like that. A little slice in the centre. I'm going to hold up the camera. Okay, and same for the other one. Like that. Okay, I'm going to join them on. We're going to put them, I'm going to put them on the side here like this. And same for the other one. Okay, there's two ears, two nostrils, so he's looking very good, isn't he? And then we're going to then just do the little eyes. So the eyes, I just got my skew and pulled them to each side. So there and there. So I'm going to ask you to do the same. So pull it like that out. So put in your, your skewer and pull it out like that. Okay, so two little eyes like that. So is it two little slits as if he's kind of sleeping? Isn't it cute? Next thing we're going to do is the little hair. So look, it is very simple, all these little hair bits here. So we're going to get our white foam again, and we want five equal parts. So into a bowl, I'm just going to get my black tray here, and then roll into a sausage and divide it into five Actually, divide into six, because we'll use a bit, we'll add on a bit to the tail. So there's two. So you're going to do three on this side and three on the other side. So there's one, two, three, four, five, six. I'm doing that rough enough because it doesn't have to be exact. And then into little balls and then attach them onto the hair. One. 
Oops, won't. Is it look good? Two. Three. Nice little roundy little bits there. They could be cheap. And then I'm going to put one at the back. I mightn't use all um, six, obviously. I was going to use five, but I think I'll just do four. So something like that. Okay. And then we're going to attach it on to the little head. So we've got our, our hair on, we've got the head, the nostrils, the eyes done. So we're going to attach it on lovely to the little body of the sheep like that. Okay. Now, the only thing we need to do, oops, my little ear is stuck there, is the little tail. I'm going to ask you just to add a little bit of white to the base of the tail like that, just to give it a little bit of fluffiness as well. Okay, I'm going to turn it around to use again. I'm going to do the, the rotation just to so you can see each, every little part of it. Okay. Isn't he lovely? So that's um, the sheep near finish there. Okay. So I'm going to put the two little characters together now. So that concludes this tutorial of how to make a little sheep and a little ball with Cleotic. So boys and girls, I really hope you've enjoyed that tutorial on how to make the little ball and the sheep. Just be mindful that Cleotic is an air dry in clay. So just keep it away from kids or pets for a day or so until it's dry and then you'll have a permanent toy. So I hope you learned a few tips and tricks along the way. And I really hope to see you at the next set of tutorials. All the best. Bye. Bye bye. Bye.